Okay, so welcome to the course. Um, don't know if you are seeing it. Maybe it's been emailed to you. Maybe you're finding it on Facebook, uh, on our Facebook group. Maybe you're finding it on PD Game Lab. Who knows? Um, essentially, we're not cutting right to the chase. This clip is explaining to you the general policies of the class. You know, not the specifics, not the content related, not the learning object related. All that stuff will be in another place. This is what's going on. is uh, quite peculiar. Uh, I've been working on this for over 10 years now. This course is a gamified course. It employs gamified pedagogy. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, well, first of all, it's totally cutting edge. Secondly, uh, most students enjoy it. Uh, it's inspired by video games. Now, some of you might be smiling when you hear that, some of you might be even grinning, and some of you might be horrified. So, take a deep breath. It's good. I've had people who've never even seen a video game closer, who think it's the instrument of Satan, uh, who actually, within a few weeks, thought that this is splendid, flexible, and helpful. Okay, so what's going on? It's fully gamified, and it's conducted on a specific LMS. LMS is jargon for Learning Management System. Some of you have heard of Blackboard, Canvas, Moodle, a host of other things. None of that for us. We're doing it on a thing called 3D Game Lab. And you can find it, there'll be a link, Maybe there, maybe not. Um, game lab at uh, 3dgamelab.com uh, in one word. All right, so how does it work? Well, um, you'll get a specific code from me. It'll be actually posted, um, already is, on the Facebook group that we will also use in this class. Um, and you know, you'll familiarize yourself with this, not a problem. Oh, well, if you don't have a Facebook account, I know there are some pure, brave people who don't. Uh, and they have, my, you know, I admire you. But so you can you can create a Facebook account. You can create it with a bogus name if you want to stay private. Uh, you can do whatever you want. It's just a space in which we can um, share our ideas um, easily, effectively. Um, it kind of brings in the academic content of the class into our um, social life and all other devices or whatever it is. So again, it's easy and it works. So, all actual work that you do uh, needs to go through 3D Game Lab because that's what gives you the points. It's actually XP points, experience points from the language of video games. But essentially those will be translated into a grade and automatically for you in fact. So you can see again, it's all transparent. Any questions, fire me a message. But all the points you will gain that will eventually transfer to the grade, that will eventually transfer to the credit you get for this course, go through 3D Game Lab. So it has to be done there uh, primarily. Um, okay, now, uh, so you submit your work to this website. And I then will get it. I will read it. And I will either approve it for full credit or return it not reject, return it. And you get a chance to correct what the problem was, whether it was a trivial technicality or whether it was a kind of problem with the material, which I will tell you, you resubmit for full credit. This is part of the idea behind gamified uh, pedagogy is that it's the opposite of what's happening now uh, in other parts uh, of the education system of what you may have heard of high risk testing. There's no high risk testing, there's no testing. There's no risk, there's no risk whatsoever. Well, the only risk is that you don't do work, and if you don't do work, you don't get credit. Anybody who logs into 3D Game Lab right now, because you're ahead of the time and you're quick and you punched in the code and you created your account, and there you are, and you see your brain before you, and it is an F for now. Because you haven't done anything. Makes sense, right? Again, like a video game. Many people play video games. It's an ind industry of over $100 billion. It's bigger than all other forms of entertainment. Uh, so many have been exposed one way or another. But you work your way, you start submitting work. Before you know it, just by doing the training quests, again, for later, um, you will already get an F+, plus, and then an F++, plus plus, and then an F++, plus plus plus, and then a D-, minus, and so on and so forth, until you build up to an A. So the, really, the only limitation is the time we have for the class. So you have to keep working steadily, and there's absolutely no reason, if you don't get an A, it's your fault. 
Note that some quests are constructed as one time do. Read, write about it, respond to something, watch a documentary, respond to it. There's a host of different activities, even creative work of different kinds. Um, you'll see again for later. Uh, but and some of them are, have prerequisites, whether it be a level or other, typically more common, other quests that you've done before. So before you can start really criticizing uh, some idea, maybe I require that you written 200 words about it uh, first, just to, to solidify your knowledge of it. But then there will be a, a, another quest that will require that and will allow you to criticize it or elaborate further or create media based on it on oh, many ideas. In fact, one of the quests for which you can get credit is when you yourself propose a quest. And I get great ideas from students, so I very much encourage you. The idea is that you can be creative with no risk. That's what play is, and that's how we learn. Now, it's important. I said everything has to go through 3D Game Lab to get the points. But everything actually happens also in, on the Facebook group. In fact, that is where we easily can see each other's writing, engage each other with this, with you know, discussion, commentary, argument, what have you. This is where I will give you feedback, step in, add my um, my bit, etc. In fact, all you will be uh, doing on 3D Game Lab is required to do on 3D Game Lab is provide a link, and we'll explain the trivially simple way in which you link a Facebook post of any kind into anywhere including 3D Game Lab, and earn your points. But the space in which we discuss things is going to be the Facebook group. So, you know, try and kick back and enjoy this. You know, this is the idea. You're going to learn a lot, more than you think initially. Um, I have a typical situation like that, where sometimes people think, oh my god, this chaos, it's, what's the structure, what exactly am I supposed to do? Because you're used to a very strict kind of 19th century Germanic uh, educational system. This ain't it, yeah? Um, you got a question, don't be shy, ask. If you keep plugging at it, you engage with the material, there's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't do excellent in this class and even earn an A. One, be interested. Two, be interesting. Three, don't be a dumbass.